Question here about email newsletters. Is it better to have, like, let's say you're sharing in your newsletter an article that you wrote on social media or something like that, a blog on your blog. Should you copy and paste the entire blog to your email newsletter? Or should you give a snippet and then have a read more link to the blog? It's a fair question. And actually, for those of you who are watching this uh, and have a, an opinion about it, I, I'm genuinely interested in what your opinion is. Um, because I've heard arguments both ways. That's why I want to see what the vote is uh, from, from, from those who are here. I'll tell you what I do. And in below this video, you can see the link that I'm going to um, tell you about. If you go to my website, there's a place, again, it's below this video, it goes directly there. Uh, it's georgecow.com slash monthly. You will see actual examples, no, not examples, the, the actual links to my newsletters uh, for the past three months, uh, my monthly newsletter. And you notice what I do. I just give a very light summary or a snippet at the beginning of an article or something. Or it's either a, a quick summary, um, something about it, or the first three lines or so. And then I'll I'll click I'll, I'll say read the post something like that. And you'll notice my newsletter has several of these sections so that people can choose which one interests them more. So mine is more of a, a, a short menu of which one you want to click on. Um, but I have also heard. I have heard clients tell me, George, you know, I actually uh, tried both. I tried the short thing, read more, and I tried uh, pasting the entire thing. And I got more responses. At least I got more emails back when I pasted the entire thing. So, um, well, obviously, if you paste the entire thing, people are more likely to read the actual article and um, respond to it. But if you do it my way and people get used to it, then they know that they have to click on something if it interests them to actually read it and respond to it there. The benefit is that when they respond to it there, instead of emailing me, I think I think this is partly a question of uh, email list size as well, because I'm at this point where, sure, I always enjoy receiving emails from, from, from subscribers, of course, you know, oh, that was so great. But I would much rather you comment <laughs> publicly on social media because it, it feeds the algorithm to say, well, maybe we could show this to more people. You see what I mean? So algorithmically, it's better for me if you comment there rather than send me a private email. But I know for some of you watching, you would rather be in touch. You know, you would rather someone go, I don't want to comment publicly, but I can send this private email to you, back to you. And you would be happy to be in touch with them because the more interaction, the more they're likely to say, well, why don't I sign up for your service or join your program or something like that? So they're really, that's why there's arguments both ways. Another benefit of what I do is I get to give people, like I said, the menu of options. If you look at my email newsletter, it's it's very clean looking and it's calming, hopefully, because they're just like, okay, one option I can look at or a second option, third option, rather than one long article. Uh, if if it's one long article, there's only one option. Unless you have two or three long articles, that makes the email way too long. You see, so there's, it depends. And I would say you should try both, not just one time each, but probably try both for six newsletters try both and see if your sense about it which which direction you'd like to go so comment below and let me know uh if you like what your what your um preference is or what you've seen to work better for you